Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live session. We had a great live session on Instagram. Uh, a lot of uh, talk, a lot of um, conversation. I love it. I love it, the fact that we can reach so many people throughout South Africa um, via a live feed. And, you know, people can ask questions and we can talk about that questions and answer questions. Um, and it doesn't need to be one on one. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for the guys, um, you know, talking, uh, joining the Instagram feed. Uh, Nicole, uh, Nicholas, uh, Erlang, Shalandri, um, yes, uh, Jamie. Uh, yeah, so many people. I, I, don't, I won't remember all of your names, but thank you for everyone for joining in. Um, okay, guys, so on the Instagram feed, we had a few questions. Uh, we talked a bit about passion, okay, passion in business and how that carries you through um, with your business and your startup. Uh, so I told the story that I always tell when I, uh, when I do entrepreneur coaching or, you know, when I, when I give uh, talks uh, of a guy, of two guys that, both in the, uh, that are both in the lawnmower or landscaping business. So the first guy we have is Bob. Okay, Bob loves grass. He loves green grass and he loves walking into a property where there's a green lawn that's healthy, that's clean, that's perfect. Okay, um, and he just, he show, he's so passionate about grass and landscaping. And then on the other side, we have Alan. Alan is just a businessman. He sees um, land landscaping and lawn mowing as a good business opportunity and he just looks at the profit and he wants his return and that's it, okay? And both of them are doing good. The business are good for both. But now the tough times come. The dry season comes. And people don't want to spend that much money on grass anymore. and They don't want to spend that much money on landscaping anymore. Because it's winter and it's dry and there's no water. So, so they just leave the lawns. And at that stage, the market dips. Okay. And there's not as many cash customers. So for a guy like Alan, he just says, okay, you know what? This isn't profitable for me anymore. Uh, there's not enough sales. Uh, there's not enough, um, you know, profits in this. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not in this business. I'm going to look for another business opportunity. And then you get Bob. He's passionate about grass. So even in the dry season, he's like, no, I want to have people's lawns look green and look perfect and look great. I want to be able to see a green lawn um, over, you know, when I walk into a property. And I want to help people to get their lawn green again. And, and through the dry season, he just keeps on going. And now my question is, at the end of the day, after the dry season, when the rainy season comes and people want to spend more money on landscaping and on their grass again, who has the bigger, better business? Who growed, um, you know, who's bigger and who's now making the money and making the profit? It's Bob because he was passionate about what he's doing and Alan is not in the business anymore. Guys, so I just want to talk to that. I want to speak to that. You need to have passion for what you're doing. We, we, ha we only have a few years on this planet Earth that we can really live. And we need to be passionate about what we're doing. If you have passion, then you're automatically going to spend more time on it. You're automatically going to do more research and educate yourself on the topic. You're automatically going to have more motivation and drive to do it. You're automatically going to have a better attitude towards it and more energy towards it. And you're automatically going to become more successful. So obviously, um, in that case, if you have passion for what you're doing, you're just putting yourself in such a better position. So guys, that was, that was a bit what we talked about in terms of passion for your business and what you're doing and um, how important that really is. Um, yes, guys, so just to give you a bit of feedback on what we're doing here at Millionaire um, at 22 at this time of the, of the year, uh, I, I recently wrote an article that's featured in the Skyways magazine this month. So go check it out in the Skyways magazine. And then I did, a, I did an interview with Entrepreneur Magazine, which is super exciting. It's, it's going to be great. So
um, check that out. I think I think my my issue is coming or issue which in um which I'm featured in is coming out in March, I think. So keep an eye out for that. And um, then I'm also busy doing my life coaching and NLP practitioners uh, diploma. So I'm basically learning to be a life coach and studying to be an NLP practitioner. So neurologistic programming. So it's very cool. It's all about how the mind works and why people do what they do and why they feel the need to do what they do and why we have weird behaviors or points of views on life. And how can we change that? Because all of us wants to be successful. All of us wants to be on top of our lives. All of us wants to, you know, live a life of, you know, fulfillment. And sometimes we have weird perceptions, weird limiting beliefs, um, you know, weird behaviors that kind of blocks that and, you know, stops us from becoming that perfect person that we can be. I mean, I want to be the best Albert that I can be. So with NLP and life coaching, we learn to enable them to be who they truly are so that they can live life life should be um, should be experienced um so uh, we have a question what do you do when you okay we are back we had a little bit dip in the wi-fi but we are mobile data so um i think nicole's passion dims for a project I would suggest that you need to find out what the reason is that you're doing that project. And is it serving you? Is that what you want to do? So go find the higher intent for that project. So let's say um, the project that you're busy with is, uh, you know, renovating a house. Okay, that might be the project. And it's tedious and it's hard work and you're renovating a house. But the higher value for you renovating that house is to have a home, okay? Somewhere you can live uh, and express yourself and be at peace and somewhere you can come home to. But the higher value for having a home is maybe so that you can start a family and leave a legacy one day and, you know, um, you know have a family with kids in the house and everything. And, I mean, the higher value for having a family is maybe so that you can leave a legacy one day and, you know, leave uh, your children behind and, you know, create something for them and uh, leave a piece of yourself uh, on planet Earth. So maybe that's the higher value. So when you're busy renovating this house and it's hard work and it's tough and you're in the middle of it and, you know, you're, you're losing a bit of your passion dims a bit and you're losing motivation, just sit for a moment and think, what is the higher value of this? Why am I doing this? What is a higher purpose? And then when you do it like I just did it with the example right now, you'll get to the point where you say, this is actually because I want to leave a legacy. I want to create a home where I can have a family and then I want to leave a legacy. And that will, will um, ignite your passion again because that is what you are doing this for. And at the bottom level, some, some tasks may be tedious. Um, but if you look at the bigger picture, at the end goal, if you play the long game, I watched a video of Gary V the other day that says um, he is playing the long game. And similarly with me as well, I have my long game that I'm playing. And um, the long game should be exciting and should be fun and should be there. That legacy that you're leaving, that is what's fun. That is what exciting. That is what's, what your passion is about. Today might suck. Okay. This month might suck. This year might be a bad year. But the, the, in the macro, in the bigger perspective of things, in the bigger picture, it is awesome. If that's the case, then you're on the right way. As long as the bigger picture is awesome and the bigger picture is great and you feel that feeling passion in the bigger picture then sometimes the, the the smaller part of it might dim the passion and might not be that awesome but if the bigger picture is awesome then just keep going because you need to focus on the bigger picture the higher value and the bigger part of things so cool guys i hope that answers the question and then the last question that we had on the on the instagram feed as well was um how do I do research when I have a startup? And I talked about um, doing a bit of corporate espionage. 
I'm only joking. Uh, it's not corporate espionage, but you'll understand what I'm saying right now. So what I did when I started my business is I used to call other businesses that does exactly the same thing. So I would call them up, for example, with my websites and branding and social media business, Kazuru. I would call other um, websites, online media businesses, and I will ask them, hello, I need a website. And then those people will tell me, okay, sir, you will need to send us this. Uh, this is the price and this is what the next steps are. And then when a client will call me for my business, I would say, hello, sir, this is what we need for you. This is the, the price and this is what the steps so I would use what I've learned from them um, to actually add to my own business. And yes, some businesses have weird and bad things and other businesses have better things that they do. So, so you know, look at about 10 businesses or whatever, call them, do some little bit corporate espionage, find out what they do, how they do it, and when they do it and where they do it and with what tools they use. And then you use the best stuff and implement it in your own business and make it your own. So that's a good way for research. The best teacher is experience. So my second part of that will be just jump in, do it lean. Don't waste all your money. Don't invest all your money. Do a lean startup and just jump in and do it. And then you'll learn through experience and then you'll find out how this business works. Another question we had on the Instagram feed is a business plan. And I always say, don't go and write a 50 page business plan because as soon as you jump into the business with the first sale. So I say with the first sale, almost everything is going to change. So don't focus too much on the business plan. Um, do a one, two pager of what your strategy is going to be and what you want to do. And then just jump in and learn from experience. Theo Grobler is asking, long game is true. I had to change my focus on quick money schemes and change it to the long run focused on the wrong things. Yes, I mean, in, in, my, in my decision, I, I, I left my job as an industrial engineer. I became a full-time entrepreneur. And um, the long game is, I'm doing what I love. I'm free to do what I want. I can, I can make my own dreams come true. I work my own hours. I can um, read books and do self-development. I can create something that's there. I can change other people's lives. I can spread, you know, financial knowledge and wealth, wealth knowledge and, you know, inspire kids, school kids and children and people and older people to find their passion again and to do business and to do what they love and enable people of South Africa to do what they love because they don't have financial and time constraints anymore. And that's what I'm doing. That's a big game. But yes, today, well, today was great. But today might suck and this month might be tough and this year might not see, you know, all of the stuff that we wanted it to see. But in the end game, what else would I be doing? <laughs> I'm doing what I love and I'm doing what, I'm, what I should do um, on planet Earth. So in the big game, the... Um, if you're enjoying the big game and if you're focused on the macro, then the minor stuff will not phase you. Pietro is saying, thanks, Albert. I have a meeting with Gazru team on the 7th of February and I'm super excited. Pietro, we will love having you at the office. Um, please remember us to make you a cup of coffee as soon as you walk in so that we can talk about your branding and website development and social media needs. Looking forward to that, Pietro. Good to um, see that you're coming through. Okay, great. Guys, so that was a bit on this week's live session. Um, guys, if you, if you have read the How to Become a Millionaire 22 book, please share it with friends. Tell them to go buy it and read it. And if you haven't read how, read how to Become a Millionaire 22, get it as soon as possible and read it. Uh, this week, I had the privilege to sell the book to about 10 people that is doing the course with me. And I had, I had the opportunity to spend time with them afterwards. And I forgot what amazing, uh, when they started giving me feedback from the book, I forgot what amazing difference the book makes and, and you know, how it can change the way you think of things and how you th view finance and wealth and understand how to become financially independent and how it motivates people. Um, so I'm just so, you know, we launched the book in May 2017. Okay. And um, yeah, then 
we sold a lot of books and we went to the motion and we have already sold a lot of books. But this week, I just realized again what the value actually is of how to become a millionaire at 22 and how it actually you know, can, can make a difference and changes people. So, so what, a, what a great experience to have, what a privilege to, to have been able to written a book and uh, pro provide content to other people that change their lives. So, so yeah, guys, if you, ha if you haven't read the book, do it. If you have read the book, share it. Uh, let's share that experience and share that with other people to enable them to become financially independent so that they can do what they want to do and so that they can yeah so that they can do what they want to do and so that they can do what they have to do in life cool guys justin thanks for joining in pietro uh theo for all of the guys nicole for all of the guys on instagram thanks for joining in if you've missed the live session just now you can watch it in my stories at the top on instagram and you can watch it in my feed on um, how to become a millionaire 22 facebook page and you can watch it